Let me get the recording started. Fine then. So, okay, before proceeding, any question on the topics we've discussed so far? So, the string in string. No questions. Okay. So let's start with the assignment. Write uh, a SQL query to fetch the first occurrence of A from the below country name. So from this, you have to fetch the first occurrence of A. Okay. Anyone who has tried solving this? No. Let me try this. SQL means practice. The more you will practice, the more easy it will be. So we want the first occurrence of A. Okay, first occurrence of A. So for that, we have to use in string function. Well, remember the last class I have taught you this. First occurrence of A, capital A. This is the correct syntax. So first occurrence of A is at the fifth position. Here is fifth position. Here is second position, right? In null, there is no A, so it is doing null. In United Kingdom, there is no A, so it is doing zero. Any question on this? No question. Okay, what is the next question? Write a SQL query to sort the country names in ascending order with countries having a spaces in between displayed at the top. So countries which is having a spaces in between should be displayed at the top. So how you will find the countries which is having a spaces? You can see here Sri Lanka, you have a space here. United Kingdom, you have a space here, right? New Zealand, you have a space here. So you want to filter out these countries and that should be displayed at the top. So I think this is the same table. Any idea how you can solve this? Uh, any idea, guys? Any string? Name? We have space, comma, one, comma, one. So we see in Sri Lanka. You have this options at fourth position, space is there. In our one standard is zero because you don't have any spaces. United Kingdom, you have a space at seventh position. New Zealand, you have a space at fourth position. So all the countries where you have a spaces, you are getting that value, right? Sri Lanka, United Kingdom, New Zealand. But the question is uh, to show all the countries that spaces at the top, right? You have to show that at the top. So how we can do this? Come on, any idea? Any idea? Am I audible? Not sure I'm audible. No. Can anyone please confirm I'm audible? Hello? Hello guys, I'm audible. Yes, okay, thank you. Okay, so how to solve this? You can solve this by this way as well. Select star from this screen. I'm using servicing the name one is not equal to zero. So first of all, see what I'm trying to do from this. I will write name one is not equal to zero. So I have given this instinct function alias as name one. I'm telling that this should not be equal to zero. It means I want where the value is present. Like Sri Lanka four values present, United Kingdom seven is there, New Zealand four is there. So I will get all those records, right? Let me show you this. So you got all these things. Now you want this to be displayed at the top, right? So what you can do here is so this is the 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 logic here. You have to implement name one is not equal to zero. And you will get all these countries, right? So in this logic, what you can do, you can write order by name case when 
paste and name one is not equal to zero, then one plus two. Okay. Now you can see here okay, all the countries which is having case spaces are coming at the top. Okay, and then all the other countries are in are uh, displayed. And if you want this to be sorted in ascending order, then you can write comma name. Then all this will be sorted in ascending order. Okay, after that, you can see this is sorted in ascending order. Afghanistan, China, India, Pakistan, Asia. Is this clear? Any question? No question. Okay, uh, question number three. Have you tried, guys? I'm not sure I'm speaking to myself, not getting any response. Okay, let me clear this table. Try. Let me display the first name and last name in two different columns. So here the first name and last name are present in one column. So you have to display this in two different columns. It means you have to segregate based on the comma. Okay, so how you can do that? Uh, name, comma, first of all. First of all, let me show you one thing here in the string name, comma. See why I have written this. This function will tell you the first occurrence of comma. So it is telling the first occurrence of comma in Tanvir Khan is at the eighth position. This is the eighth position. Anand Nandi is at the sixth position. Similarly, Arjun Reddy is at the sixth position. Renal Kumar is seventh position. Mohan, you don't have any comma, so it's string zero. So now what I will do is I will apply here logic that substring name comma one comma I will add this. So it means I am telling to SQL engine to teach me the service string of this name column starting from the first character till this character because this will give you the comma position right now when i will execute this you will see that comma is also coming you see comma is also coming here so if you want to remove this you have to add here minus one so you got this as a first name and you can write but why mohan is not coming okay yeah fine so this is your first name is this clear? Any question? Okay, no question. Yes, I think this is clear. Now you might be thinking that why Mohan Mohan name is not coming. Okay, so it why it is coming as null. Any idea why this is not coming here? There is no comma. There is no comma. Right. Very good. So that's why it is not coming. So, but how to get this Mohan name because this is the first name we should display it here, but it is not coming. Then how to get that? Any idea how to get that? See, you can use NVL command here. NVL. But if the, this is not giving any data, if you guys remember the purpose of NVL, right here, name. is coming now okay this is from this question this example you can see how we have used multiple functions keywords in the same single query any question here yeah uh, if, if there is a space instead of comma then you have to write a space yeah, yeah, here yeah. instead of comma give a spaces okay. i've shown you here yeah this example i've shown you right okay Okay, so you got first name. Now, what about last name? We now want last name address as well, right? So for last name, what we can do is we write service string. 
So we'll tell the SQL engine to start after comma, right? We want SQL engine to start after comma. So we'll write here name. They will tell him to start after comma. So this position, this will give me the comma position. So after comma means I will add plus one here. Okay, and then that's all. We done this. What last name? Okay. Are you marking this? Last name. Oh, you might be thinking that why this one at this you might be thinking that why this mohan is coming twice here you don't have last time right so why this mohan is coming twice? this should be blank but why it is coming so how to solve this what's the problem here is the question clear yes So how to solve this problem? Here, the last name is also coming here. What shall we do? Is it is the question clear? I think someone has joined for two devices. A voice is echoing. Can you mute one device? Okay. Yeah. So here you can see the two. still the voice is going. Can you please go on mute, guys? See, the voice is breaking. It's basically going. I think Lisa. Yeah, it's So, yeah. Any idea? This is also coming here. What to do with this? See, actually, what is happening here? You have your substring name. And uh, you have given this value. This value will give zero, and zero plus one is one. And that's why you're getting here this particular function, right? So in this case, what you have to do is you have to use case statement. Okay. In the case statement, you have to write that if this is if this value is not equal to zero, then you have to find this last name. If it is equal to zero, then you should not find it out. Okay, will you guys try that? So try this. This is very simple. I told you. First time you're getting Mohan here, like you're getting last time again Mohan. Why? Because this function is giving zero, zero plus one is giving one. So name and comma. So we're getting all the values. Okay. So you have to write case statement and in that you mark it that when case when this is not equal to zero, then you have to use that value. Else keep it as none. Will you guys try or shall I try this? Yeah, uh, it is a bit confusing because in Abu, uh, where you have used um, uh, that one NVL function. Uh -huh. So it was not taking this, this name. Yeah. So with the. Sorry, voice is too low. Can can you increase the volume? Or can you come close to mic? Yeah. Yeah, please tell me. Yeah. So is it fine now? Yeah, yeah, it's better now. Yeah. Okay. So in the yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in this line uh, where the cursor is right now, so it was not taking uh, the first name. Uh huh. So uh -huh. Then uh, we use the anvil function, right? Uh huh. Right. And uh, no, no. But... See, why I have used anvil is. Uh, are you confused with this? That why I have used anvil here? You no, know, I'm not. This is the question. I'm, I'm, I'm confused with second one. Because in second way it is oh, uh, this one. Yes. Okay. 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 Yeah. Tell me what the conclusion. Uh, so uh, as it is uh, taking the Mohan's name in uh, as a last name, so that's why okay, I, why why it is taking. Oh, why the last name Mohan is coming again? That's a question, right? Yes. Sir. Okay, okay. 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 Let me explain you this. Yes. Uh, but Nisa, your voice is echoing. Uh, uh, have you joined for two device or I, I can see it is echoing? Can you please check? Actually, I joined it okay. well first as well, but uh, I have closed that at the time. Oh, okay, okay. Not sure, but it is echoing. Okay, no problem. Okay, so let's see why Mohan is coming here in the last name. The reason is we have used this 
uh, this this command we have used, right? So if I will ask you, what will be the output of this for Mohan? It will be zero because there is no comma. Correct? No, there is no comma. So it is it will be zero. So now, so now yeah. this will be changed to. Will be changed to zero. Correct? And zero plus one will will be one. So this will become one. It is like you are telling I want name from first character. So that's why it is giving you from first character all the characters. That's why it is coming here. Mohan. Yeah. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. And yeah, that's the reason. So now how to solve this? You have to use case assessment. You please try that using case. Okay. And still, if it is not working, you let me. Or you guys want me to try, please tell me. Just some, uh, someone uh, in the Please try that. that. Uh, they are, uh, able to, they are uh, speaking, but we are not able to listen to them. Sorry, this are can repeat. Can you go to chat once? Some are facing the uh, problem. Yeah. That is that is your, uh, oh. yeah. Okay, so then yes, I think my voice. Yeah, Roger, your voice is not audible. Can you please check your voice is not audible. Okay, fine. I think you are on mute or what? I think she. Yeah, maybe some problems with the microphone. Or else you try to log in again. Nisara, I think from yourself, the echo is coming. Uh, Nisara has dropped. Okay. So, echoing. Perfect. So, you guys can try this if it's not working. Okay. Or else let me try this. So, this is the value first name. Okay. And substring, if I'm using this, last name you're getting this one. Okay. So now here, if you want to use case, you can use case or else. What else I can tell you? You can use so. Let me use case only. Case when. This is not equal to zero. Then. This else last so now you got it. Last time you are getting blank here. Yeah. This is what we were expecting, right? Uh, uh, Roja, can you uh, can try speaking now? Hello, Tanvir, can you hear yeah, me? Yeah, 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 not certain. Yeah, yeah so we can you know, I am trying to change my settings so I could not concentrate on the class. Oh, okay, that's what I was thinking. That how is it possible Roja is not speaking? <laughs> oh, okay, and okay. okay. uh, now it's audible, right? Oh, okay. uh, it's audible. Okay, thank you. So, anything you want me to repeat here? Uh, yeah, maybe I'll check later in the video. Ah, you please check that later. Okay, all things are simple. But still, okay. if you need any clarification, you can connect with me. Okay. 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 And uh, yeah, sure. And this I have so uh, I have solved using case. Yes, this is what I was asking you guys to try, and this is the output. You can see you got first name and yeah, the last name was not there, so it is coming as null, right? If you don't want this INS chair function, you can remove this. You guys try this. this uh, anyone who wants me to repeat this, please tell me. Okay. Fine then. So from all this question, I'm just trying to show you the importance of this service string and in string. 
how you can use the combination of that. You see here, how I have used case, how I have used the NVL command. So this is what, when you will practice, you will understand that how you can use multiple keywords together. Okay. So what's the next question? Right hand SQL created to display the employee name, which is letter in present anywhere. You're not supposed to use wildcard character. Oh, okay, interesting question. In this question, they're asking you, display the name which has letter in present anywhere. Okay, so suppose if I have to use wildcard character, then how you can write this query? Can you guys try and tell me? Oh, come on, if, I have to, if you have to use wildcard character, how you can write this? Select the name from. Select name from. A table name. Where, from table name. Uh, where, where name like a percentile in percentile, if it is wi good. using wildcard. If you are using wildcard, this is a query and this is correct. Let me show you this. So we got all the names where n is present, small n is present, right? This is fine. But the question is, you should not use wildcard character. So how to solve that? Okay. So if you don't have to use wildcard character, you can use in string function. So how? Let me show that. In string, and then search for a letter n. Employee. If letter n is present, it will show you some value. If it is not present, it will show you zero. Like in Prasad Katiki ready, n is not present, it is showing as zero. And all the names where n is present it is giving some value. So now tell me what should we do here? Then you can write where. This is not equal to zero. So if it is not equal to zero, means it will have some value. When it will have value, it will have value when n is present. So now you got this. Is this clear? Any questions? Yes. Simple. So from all these questions, I'm trying to show you that how we can use any string function. Let us see if define the continuum which has spaces in between. So I think you can do this now. This is exactly the same as this question. Spaces in between. Okay. So this was all about the assignment question. Uh, now coming to our agenda. So all these topics we have discussed so far. Now today minus union, union all intersect. Okay. I will start with minus today. Let me see if I have some examples here. Minus twice for entire beginning. And I have employee one table here. Very difficult to clear the tables. Okay. Okay, let me explain you what is minus. Okay. Get a table. Red table imply one, then you imply ID, integer, then you have imply name, back cap, tick. So then imply one table, table is created, sorting, imply one, values. I'm taking some values here. Okay. Three, three, three. Data I have inserted in this in five one table. Similarly, let me create in five two table. This minus is very, very, very important. Especially those who are working on data migration project. Just three. Okay, fine.
as your employee one table. We have three IDs, one, two, three, A, B, C. And uh, this is your employee two table. Three, four, and C, D is it, right? Now the question is, I want to, I want to fetch those records which is present in employee one table, but missing in employee two table. Is the question clear? I want to fetch those records which is present in employee one table, but not present in employee two table. Can you tell me which is which record? What is that record? Any idea? Am I audible? Uh, can you repeat the question again, Ranveer? Yeah, sure. My question is, uh, tell me the record which is present in employee one table, but not present in employee two table. A and B. A and B, very simple answer, but you guys are taking a lot of time. A oh, and B. I thought you were asking me query, I am thinking. Oh. Oh, no, no, yes, manual. I'm asking first of all, manual is okay, okay. the yeah, yeah, which is present in employee one table but not present in employee two table, right? This is clear. So, here you have very few records, limited records. So, easily you can tell, but in project, you have to be having millions of records, right? And it's difficult to find. And this happens especially when you are loading data from one table to another table and you want to confirm that all the data has been loaded successfully or not. So for that, you have a minus query. What is that minus query? I will tell you what this is very important. I'm employee one. Then you have to write minus. Select employee ID, comma, employee name, employee two. Let me execute this. What you got here? One A and two B. Why you got this output? Because A and B are present in employee one table, but not present in employee two table. So this is the function of minus keyword. Now question is why this 3C is not coming as an output? Who will explain this? Because we don't want the record which is present in the employee table two. They are minusing, right? right? Yeah. Because 3C is already present here. Present. So I don't want this record. I want to see those records which are slipped. So 1A and 2B are the slipped records. They have not moved to the other table. So for that, you can use minus. Similarly, if I will ask you a question that tell me the record which is present in employee 2 table, but not present in employee 1 table, then what, what should be your answer? D, right? D. Yeah, D. And what should be the query for that? Select. Employee ID, employee name. Employee name from? Employee two minus. Employee two, very good. Employee two minus. Select. Select employee ID, employee name from employee one. And from employee one. I have to execute this. You got this 4D. Because 4D is present in employee two, but missing in employee one. Hope it is clear minus. Any yeah, this, uh, this minus keyword is completely different from the that operator, right? Hi, right, this is different. This will miss when you are moving data from one table to another table and you want to confirm that the records are present, uh, moved correctly or not. So in that case, we use this minus key. Okay. Okay. Now, suppose here you have one, two, three, and here one, two is missing. Suppose I add here. Suppose I have added here. Uh, we have one. Two. I'll tell you one thing. 
Now in imply one table, you have one, two, three, four. Imply two table, you have one, two, three, four. Now if I would execute this query, what will be the output? No records because uh, both no are records. having yeah. Both are having same data. No data form, right? Yeah. Similarly, if I would execute this query, what will be the output? No data form. No data form. So is this clear? So when the data is exactly same, yes. Okay, no data form. Any question on this so far? No. No, no question. Now there is a twist. Suppose in employee one table, I have employee ID five. Now if I will execute this, what will be the output? Uh, e, will e will come. Five E will come, right? So yeah. five E is coming. That is correct. Good. If I will execute this one, then what will be the output? No data form. No data form. Why? Because the, the employee two table it doesn't have uh, any records. Correct. Extra. All the data which is present in employee two is present in employee one already. Already. That's yeah. why it is giving no data form. Very good. Now. Now the question is, suppose I have changed the sequence here. Now, if I execute this, what will happen? What I have done here? I have changed the sequence only. Correct? Now, if I will execute this query, what will happen? I think error. Why? Uh... Because employee name uh, cannot employee ID cannot minus the employee correct. name. These two columns are different. Here you are comparing employee name with employee ID. They both are different. Correct? Yeah. That's why this is for error message. Correct? So in error message. Now, what is the reason for error message? When we are minusing same, it will minus the same uh, same data type. Data type must be same. Okay. Yeah. Don't think about the column name. If suppose oh. here the employee name column was also integer data type, so it would be it would have been passed. But here data type is different. That's why this is my error message. So you must take care of the data type. That data is very type. important. Okay. Any question? Uh, no for me. Okay. This batch is the most silent batch. <laughs> okay. What if I will execute this one? Uh, maybe this one also will show error message. Why? Because no matching column. Um, maybe. Oh, it's, it's matching my employee ID. I'm matching with employee ID. What's uh, but uh, another column is missing, right? Very good. For other column, we don't have any candidate to match. That's why this is also for error message. We have to take care of these things. Okay, there are a few exceptions. Very important you should understand. Hope it is clear. Uh, yes, clear. Okay, hope it is clear. There are a few more twists which I want to show you. I'm inserting one more record five. Okay. Now, if, now if you'll see this in five one table. So you have five, two records are there, right? Now if I will execute this query, now tell me what should be the output. Then the two records with five e will come, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Only one record is coming, why? Right? Oh. Why only one record is coming? Because it's, it's the same. Only... Same. Uh, the same. Actually, what happens? The minus no. Internally, first of all, it works on distinct. Oh. First of all, okay. it will find the distinct records. And then it will do the minus. Ideally, you are correct that two 5e records should come, but it's showing only one. So by default, minus have the distinct operator. And you can tell like this is one of the limitation of minus. Okay. Is it fine? Clear? Yeah. Yes, clear. Okay, very good. So, 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 so I have one more example here. Six. 
Now, if I will execute this, what will happen? You will get six null or not? Yes, we'll get. Okay. Yeah. So minus, you see what you understood. Let me summarize. First of all, minus will tell you the records which is present in table A but not present in table B. And similarly, you can do table B minus table A. That's the main function of minus. Now, what are the exceptions? You must be careful with the data type. You must compare two columns with the same data type. Otherwise, this will throw error message. Second point. Third point. Number of columns must be same. If you are using two columns here, you must have to use two columns here as well. Otherwise, this will throw error message. Okay. Fourth point. Minus fails to capture the duplicate record. These are very common interview questions. Here I have shown you that we have duplicate records, but minus is showing only one five e because internally minus works on distinct. Okay. And then null. So minus is able to capture null records gotcha. successfully. This was all about minus. Any question? I know you guys not having any questions. So let me go to the next topic. <laughs> so minus is done. Let's next is union. What is union? Uh, 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 uh. Explain union first of all. Let me drop this table again. Top table in here. All the tables I have top. I want to do some different data now. Top. Okay. Let me tell you what I'm trying to explain. Let's start from employee one. You have one A and two B in employee one. Three. Data and you have by two table. By two table, we have this data. By two table. Now, the question is question is, tell me, tell me the distinct records. Which is present in both the tables. Distinct records present in both the tables. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Very good. A, B, C, D are the distinct records which is present in both the tables. So this happens in some project where your employee database is present in multiple tables and you want to find the exact number of employees who are working. So in this case, when you want to merge multiple tables, this will help you. If I will tell you, these four are the distinct employees working in my company. Is this the correct data? Yes. Yes. Why I have not used 1A twice? 1A is present here as well. 1A is present here as well. Why? It's a because duplicate. That, that will become duplicate, right? Yeah, yeah, very good. So when you want to merge multiple tables, okay, and you want to see the final data, so you have to use union, okay? Like this is select star from employee two, and then you write union. Select the star from employee one. Let me show you this. One, two, three, four. We got the same output. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Yes, clear. Now, if I will change this, I will make this one and I will make this two. You will get the same output or different output? Same. Same output. They both are one and the same. But you got the same output, right? But if I will do this in minus query, if I will change this sequence, you will get the same output or different output? Different. Different output. In yes. minus, you have to be very careful. Okay. Any question? Any question, guys? No. 
No. Okay, if you don't have any question, suppose I am I'm adding a null record here. Okay. I have a null record here. Fine. Now if I let me run this now. You got null as well. It's coming. So union will take care of null records as well. And all the other conditions are same. The both the uh, tables, the columns should be same. Data type should be same. Okay, it's very simple. Any question on union? A question? Uh, okay. If we, if we ah. have if we have uh, like uh, data type two columns with the same data type, then we are adding the two different columns with then how? Uh -huh. it you can add. That's not a problem. Do you see the functional? If you are doing some functional mistake, SQL cannot do anything. You should know functionally what is the data. Mm -hmm. SQL will only take care the data type should be same. If same. you are adding, okay. suppose if you are giving some different values here. Suppose we are giving here age, comma, salary. Okay. And here you have given ID, comma, salary. So data type of all these are same, right? If you even yeah. if you run this, this will not throw any error message. But functionally, this is incorrect. You are coming, yeah. you are adding age and ID. So you should take care of this. SQL okay. don't know what, what functional domain you're working, right? Okay. That you have to take care. So this was. all are very simple and very useful most of my linkedin posts you will see i have used this union all these things okay. now now the question is the requirement change they are telling that no i want if any data is getting repeated i want to see repetition as well i want to see a particular employee is present in how many tables i want to see all the repetition so in that case you have to write union all so this will capture duplicate as well. Now let's see. Here one A is coming here, and it's coming here as well. Why? So even if a particular record is repeated, is getting repeated in multiple tables, so this will give you those data as well. So this is the difference between union and union all. Union will give you the distinct only, but union all will give you all the records. It will not do any filtering on the distinct and all so that's the only difference okay any question is it no. clear yeah okay. clear this is all the very very simple thing and then you have intersect intersect is interesting someone is asking question sorry i'm unable to hear sorry your voice is not audible for me only others can you hear someone is speaking i think Nisar is speaking. Yeah, Nisar is speaking, but cannot hear. Cannot hear. Nisar, your voice is not audible clearly. Can you please try speaking again? Hello, Nisar, we cannot hear you properly. Nisar is just like there's a network issue, I think. Okay. So next is the intersect. Okay. Intersect will tell you you see minus minus what it will give it will give you the record which is present in one table but not present in another table different scenario union will give you the records which is present in both the tables but distinct records union all will give you all the records whether, whether it is duplicate or not it will cover all the records intersect is a little bit different let me run this and you guys tell me what why you got here one a common record Common records, very good. As the name intersect indicates, intersect. So this will give you the records which is common in both the tables. Okay. So these all four are four are uh, these all of uh, my minus in the intersect four. All are very simple. Okay, uh, but a bit confusing as well. And these are used very frequently in your complex SQL queries when you want to merge data from multiple tables. Okay. Any question so far? No. Sure. No questions. Okay. Oh, you have few. I think if I have few concerns, example, otherwise I have to create table. Hmm. 
this is the one I can use, but rename. Okay, so here I'm trying to create a table in try three. Okay. And uh, I'm saying that I have a column ID, data type is number, name column, data type is varicat25. And this is a constraint. Constraint means I'm telling the SQL engine that please accept only those ID which value is greater than five. Okay, so like this, you can add constraints. If you want to see the structure of this, you can use this to describe it for three. Let's see the structure. This is the structure, right? Now let me show you one thing. I'm trying to insert data. Okay, I'm trying to insert this data. Why this is giving this error message? Check concern violated. Why? Because we have given uh, only take IDs greater than five. Very good. I've given that. So I'm telling to SQL engine that I accept only those ID which is greater than five. But here the user is trying to add four. Oh. That's why this is telling that we are violating the constraint. So this is known as constraints in SQL. Like this, you can add any many many other constraints are also there. I think one male female constraint will be there. Let me check. Currently, I will tell you after some time. May I feel concern was there in the Okay, I will tell you the later point time. May I feel concerned some other concerns are also there. But this is one of the examples of constraint. You can add a constraint. And this is again very common interview question for ATL guys. They would ask, they ask you that what are the constraints, how you can implement constraints. So by this, you can implement constraints. Okay. What else? Constraints. Any all other people, lasers, subquery, directors, subquery, directors, subquery, directors, subquery. Let's start with rank, what's rank, this is very important. And then I will proceed for the typing. That's my example. This is a good example. This is a good example of triangles. So here I am creating a strength table and I'm inserting some values. So you can see this is a table they can start from. Now here, I want to give rank. Okay, I want to give rank to the students. So let me show you how I want to give rank. Subject, rank, over, right. Okay, I have written something. Don't don't worry about this. What I have written, ignore this one. Just concentrate on this column. Okay. Let's look at this output. Okay, and tell me what this column. What is the significance of this column here? Can you guys tell me what is happening? Here? So giving ranks like um. Uh, who is top okay, top no, 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 no. sorry sorry sir leave this example this is a little complicated example i will come to this example after some time before this i think this was a correct example i should take yeah i should show you some simple example first of all then i will put it up it confused so 
simple one. Yeah. I've taken the complex one, so it takes a simple one first. I'll take that. Yeah. 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 Okay, so yeah, now tell me what this column is doing here. Rank. It's giving the rank, right? The one who has yes. put the maximum marks to the first rank holder 20 marks, second rank holder 15 marks, third rank holder, like this. Okay. Now, uh, is it clear, first of all? Understood? What this okay. is doing? This will give you the rank. Okay. Now for that, this is a syntax. This is the keyword you have to use, rank over. Okay. And then you have to write order by marks descending. So if you write order by marks descending, what SQL engine will do, first of all, it will sort all the marks in descending order. Please check all the marks in, are in descending order or not. Yes. All the marks are in descending order, then it will start assigning the rank one, two, three, and all those things. But if you want that, then I want this to be sorted in ascending order, you can sort this in ascending order as well. So this will give you freedom. You can sort in any man, any any pattern. Now see all are sorted in ascending order. And based on ascending order, it will give you the rank first and all these things. Okay. So here you can control it. This is the syntax. You have to write rank over. This is fixed. And then in this, you have to write order by marks ascending or descending, whatever you want. Any question? The so these, these two always come together, rank and over. Ah, 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 ah. This you have to write always. This is syntax. Okay. okay. And then inside this order by, you want to sort it based on marks or any other thing, age, salary, whatever. You can write that particular column here. We Here we have only marks column. So I've written marks here. Okay. And you can okay. sort it ascending or descending, whatever you want. This will give you that freedom. Okay. That is clear? Yes. Now, here's a twist. Now tell me, is this ranking correct or not? You think this is correct ranking? Yes. No, there is a mistake in this ranking. Who will tell me? Because both the, the two students having the three same rank and another two, six. Why this is coming as three? They should be two, no? After one, there should be two, right? You can be two in rank. They should be two. Yeah, because, but two people uh, are getting the same, same marks. Ah, they, they both are getting the same marks, so you should give them rank two and two. After one, second rank will come, right? So why are you giving me third rank? Where is the second rank holder in the class? Because the already class. two people, two people finished, right? That's why it's uh, going for the number three. If three people got the same marks, it will skip three. No, no. okay. Now, now see from a practical life perspective in your class, you are giving this rank, okay? They both have scored the same marks. They are given the rank one. That is correct. After rank one, where is the second rank holder in your class? You will tell that, okay, we are given the same rank to this. That is fine. But where is second rank holder? Either you give them first and you give him second. So this, this is skipping. Now after three, it, it went to fifth one. Where is fourth rank holder? Then after six, seventh rank is missing. So it seems like the rank is getting skipped here. Correct? Yes. Correct? No, it is getting skipped. Yeah. So to solve this problem, we have a new keyword, which is known as dense rank, which is known as dense rank. Now, let me show you this. Uh, 
Now let me show you this one. Now please check this. Now here we check the sequence. Is anything skipped here? After one, you have no, second no line. Skipping. You have third, fourth, fifth, fifth sixth. Six. So rank was skipping the sequence. That's why we got a new concept that is known as tense rank. Is this clear? Any question? So we always have to use the dense rank only. No, no, no. It is not like you always have to use dense rank. You have cases where you have to use rank, and you have cases where we have to use dense rank. They both have their own uh, uses. I will show you through assignments. Okay, they both have their own uses. So you cannot tell that dense rank is always greater than rank. No, a rank is always a rank is also having some use cases. Dense rank is also having some use cases. Like so where we will use. Them. Okay. Just high level, I will tell you, but when I will give you an assignment, so I will show you those examples. Okay. Okay. There is one merit of rank as well. What is that merit? If you see here, it is following the sequence. Oh, I'm telling you, it is following the sequence. If I will ask you to sequence it, you will sequence it in this manner one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? This is a sequence. Yes. Now, please check your rank is following the sequence or not. It is one here. The same mass was there, it has given it one. Yeah. After that, it has jumped to three. Why? Because it wants to match the sequence. Yeah. Correct. Then the mass was same, it has kept three. But again, when the marks change, it jumped to five. Why? Because it wants to match the sequence. So that's oh. the thing. The rank has to follow the sequence, then that's why it, it follows, it, it has to skip it. But you cannot tell that dense rank is greater than rank. They both have their own use cases. We will see through examples. Okay, I'll show you that. But rank, dense rank, concept by is it clear? Any question? Uh, no questions. No questions. Okay. Now here you can ask me one question. Now let me go back to this one, this example, strain table, because now you understood the rank and dense rank. Now here you see this ranking. Is it correct ranking? One, four, and all these things are there. I know yeah. rank escapes it, but, but that is fine. Let me show you dense rank here. Dense rank over order by <coughs> sorry, descending. Now it's fine. Dense rank, it is not skipping any sequence. Please check it. One, two, three, four, five, right? Yes. Now here you can ask a question that this is fine, Tanvir. You are showing this rank. But I want to see rank based on subject. Okay. Based on the subject, it means tell me that in chemistry, who is the first rank holder, who is the second rank holder, who is the third rank holder. Similarly, in mathematics, who is the first rank holder, who is the second rank holder, who is the third rank holder, right? It happens, no? Uh, during our school days, it happens. They uh, in, in our class teacher, they publish the ranks like this, that, okay, in this subject, he is the first rank holder like that, correct? So that is the requirement. Here, I'm showing overall rank. But now, you want rank segregation by subject. So what to do? So for so, that, we, yeah. I think we have to use group by first. No, no. For oh. that, you have to use partition by. Oh. Just right here, partition by subject. That's all. And same thing right here, before order by right, partition by. So SQL in them will understand that the user wants to segregate based on the subject. So now I try to show you this. It works like a group group by. Ha, ha, ha. Correct, correct. It's like that only. But function wise, this is different. Okay. Now you see, all the chemistry are in one group, one partition. And chemistry, you see, this is the first rank holder, second rank holder, third rank holder, right? Then you have mathematics group. In mathematics, the first rank holder, second rank holder, third rank holder, fourth rank holder, correct? And then you have the group of physics, first, second, third, fourth rank holder. Is it fine? Is it clear? Yes. Or 
not clear confused anyone who want to to repeat this please tell me so this is the use of uh, rank and why we got dense rank and then if you want to do segregation you can use this partition why it will segregate the data any question so far question So this was rank and then rank, but I will give some questions today and please work on that based on this intersect and all those things and this rank and then rank. Okay. Then we have concept of uh, row number. Okay. What is this row number? Let me explain you. This is again very much similar to rank and then rank, and I will show you on this only. Then only then it will be easy to understand. Let's start with a simple example. Number over ordered by arms. Now, okay, let me write here. Yes. Now you guys tell me what 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 is the benefit of this column? What it is doing? Just giving the each record one number. Sequence. Sequence. That's all. Number. It is giving sequence. It is not taking rank or whatever it may be. Just giving the sequence one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Similarly, if you want to use row number here, and if you see the syntax, please check the syntax. Very much similar to rank and dense rank, right? Okay. Now I will show you the use of row number here. As well. Can partition be used in row number? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is what I'm showing you. One minute only. Good question. Partition by subject. This is what we're asking. Let me show you this. Uh, oh, is it working correctly? Can you please check it? This row number, is it working correctly? White is showing like this. Three, four, two, one, that one. White is showing like this. Row number. Something mistake is there, right? Yes. Yeah. Can you tell me is this correct or incorrect or good? It should show like one, two, three, four. No, it is showing three, four, two, one in chemistry department. And then for mathematics department, again, it is showing four, three, two, one. In physics, again, it is showing four, three, two, one. Ah, it has segregated, it has done the partition, but the order is not correct. Why? Can you tell me why it is showing three, four, two, one? Is it according to the increasing what? order of marks? Very good, very good, good catch. See, if you see here, you see here what I've written here. Row number, order by marks. This is ending or descending? Ascending, right? Ascending. So that's why it has first of all done the segregation. All the chemistry are in one group. Now you are doing ascending order of marks. So it has taken ascending order, this 10 will come 1. 15 is at the second position. And then 30 and 30 are same. That's why it is given 1. 3 and the other one is 4. Is it clear? So this is correct only. I don't think this is incorrect. Is then, it clear? Um, or yeah. And out of then what will be the difference in uh, row number and uh, Dane's rank if we use partition by? See, partition by will work in the same manner, whether you are using with rank, dense rank or runa. That is same. It will it will do the segregation. If, if you can see, chemistry has been separated in one one bucket in all this rank, dense rank, and runa. It is exactly same. Just you have to see the number, how it is giving the numbering here. In rank, it skips the sequence. Dense rank doesn't skip the sequence. A row number will follow all the sequence. So one, two, three, four. Even if it is duplicate. 
it is following the sequence here, three and four. That is a question you have asked or something different? Yes, yes. So, so uh, functionality wise, partition by works exactly same whether you're using in rank, dense rank, or row number. That is exactly the same. Nothing to confuse here. Any question? No, no questions. I, like yeah. my question was uh, is there any uh, difference in performance or uh, are they same in the background? If we use background, you see, uh, actually, background, you cannot compare dense rank and row number. Because the functionality of the both are different. Okay. Uh, Performance-wise, uh, these are the window functions. They, uh, I mean, you have you should know where to use it. This takes uh, more. Uh, what you can say? Uh, this impacts the performance. This this is task specific. So you should be careful with that. Okay. All the window functions, their performance. Uh, I mean, they, they they take more effort. Okay. 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 Any other question, guys? And when I will give you the assignment, no, that will become more clear. So right now, just understand what it is doing. And when we will give you assignment, and we'll discuss that tomorrow. When I will show you some examples, that will become more clear. But this is very important. Okay. Any other question? Yeah, yeah. Any other question? No. no questions. Okay. So I will do one thing. I will stop here. I have some other task as well. Some personal commitment. I will give you some questions today based on this minus union in all intersect. Okay. Constraint one thing is remaining. I will cover that tomorrow. And then we have covered rank constraint. Uh, I had one more doubt in yeah, minus union union all in intersect. So uh -huh. yeah, tell me. Uh, you know, like tell me if I'm correct or not. I think sure, sure, sure. minus minus x like a left join between minus work like a left join minus work like left join. Oh no. No, no. Okay. I will tell you no why, but but that's good. Tell me other then union is uh, like partition join without uh, union the... is Inner join, no, no. I will tell you where it will fail, but to, to a certain extent you are correct. But you cannot tell that is exactly same. I will tell you the scenario where it will fail, and you are telling union all is like full auto join. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. See uh, why it is not same. Let me explain you. But that is very good question you have asked. Let me explain you why this is not true. One of my comment on LinkedIn is based on this only. You told minus is like left auto join, right? Yes. See, to a certain extent, yes. But if you are telling that this is exactly same, then no, that mm -hmm. is not exactly same like that. Okay. Why? Why that is not exactly same? Because left auto join if you have in a duplicate records it will fetch you that as well so if you remember if you have duplicate records left auto join will fetch that as well but minus doesn't fetch duplicate okay. right yes i have discussed in the previous class so that's why you cannot tell it is exactly same but it seems to be same and i agree that to a certain extent the functionality seems to be same but not exactly same First thing, we told union is like inner join, right? <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Which one you told for union? Inner join, no? Uh, union on for outer join and intersect outer join. for inner join. For union. Okay, intersect I, for? Yeah. Intersect for inner join and uh, union on. Yes. Okay, first, uh, let me cover the intersect. Okay, intersect and inner join again the same reason to a certain extent. Yes, they both are same. But if someone is telling that intersect is exactly same as inner join, then no. Okay. Now the question is why no? 
because intersect will not give you null records sorry uh, sorry 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 yeah intersect will give you null records but inner join will not give you null records if you see here i have shown you that intersect is giving you null records as well this yes. one thing i took on that thing a null record is not there but i think let me add some null records here what is this name Oh, it will be present here as well, no? Intersect, right? Still, it is not coming. No, it is not coming. It's not. Oh, oh. E EMP one, yeah. EMP two. Yeah, it is coming. Yes. So intersect will capture the null as well. Okay. But your inner join fails with null. I have discussed this in the class. So that's why, yeah, overall it seems that they are very much similar, but no, that they are not exactly same. That's the thing. Okay. Have I answered your yeah. question? Yeah. Yes, sir. And union all and full utter join, they are, they are very uh, they are uh, different. Why? Because in full utter join, we will get that particular column which you are fetching, you are matching with the help of some two IDs and you will get that particular column. And union all, if you have two columns or three columns, you are getting all the values, right, from both from both the tables. Mm -hmm. But but if the same value, I can tell you that. I think I have to show you with example. Just a minute, let me show you with an example actually. Now, which I have taken, and this is a very common interview question. Imply one, imply two. I have taken no okay. cards are there. Imply one, these all the cards are there. Okay. Now see, if you will use here uh, a full, uh, sorry, a union all. Let me show you first of all union all for this. By one, union all. So this is the value. Is the output of this way? First of all, tell me is this output uh, clear? You understood this? Yes. This is the output. I hope this is clear, right? Now, if I will use full auto join, select star from by one right here. Let a dot star one by one a full outer 
prime over to i2 t on a dot. Uh, it's why I have taken priority. Then this, there this, we got this one. I'll see what is the difference. Is got this passage float as one. Full auto join, what it is doing, first of all, it will find the matching records. Let's start with one. One A, we are matching here one A, right? So you got one A here. Okay. But here why you got two one A records? Because you are taking all the records from the two tables and you know all. But here you will check if it is matching, you will get only one distinct record. Is this clear? Yes. Similarly, for 2B, there's a matching 2B, there's no matching 2B. So that's fine. You got 2B here and you got 2B here as well. This is fine. Now, 3C or 4D is not there. So you got here. Uh, where is that? Uh, Three C and four D is present here. Three C and four D is not coming here. Yes. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, three C is not coming because I have not used this table. I have used this table as well. We got the star. Delete this. Bounce check here. Three C and four D is coming, right? But yes. it is present in this manner in different columns. We are getting all the things in the same column. First thing. Second thing, for the smashing records, we are getting only one record here. You see, only one record is present. But here you are getting multiple records. So you cannot tell that it is exactly the same. But yeah, to a certain extent, it seems that yeah, it is coming as same, but it is not exactly the same. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay, fine then. We will continue yes. tomorrow. I will give some assignments and then we will look into the spending topics. I think it is difficult tomorrow to wrap up. Maybe we have to connect next class. Maybe let's see tomorrow. Okay, okay guys. Thank you. I will give assignment. Please work on that. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Okay, bye.